Hi everybody, this is Dr. Brett Tally Daniel, and I'm working on a migraine podcast today. The title here would be, Does Imgality Work for Migraine? So Imgality, which is galcansubab, is a new calcitonin gene-related peptide, which they are called, as a, they're abbreviated as CGRP, as a mnemonic, for treating migraine. Well, the migraine process generates three neurochemicals, neurokinin A, substance P, and CGRP. And these neurochemicals are released by the ganglia of the trigeminal nerve and the cerebral arteries, and they inflame the trigeminal nerve, the cerebral arteries, and the thalamus. They also cause the cerebral arteries to dilate. The thalamus is the pain center of the brain, and only migraine inflames the thalamus. So, triptans have taken early in the course of a migraine process, about 20 to 40 minutes after the headache onset, blocks the release of these inflammatory neurochemicals, and they are currently the best drugs for acute therapy for migraine. Research revolving, involving cannulating the jugular vein and sampling chemicals in the blood as it leaves the brain has revealed that these neurochemicals just mentioned, the uh, neurokinin A, substance P, and CGRP, are released by the migraine process. And after the migraine starts, there's an increase in these three inflammatory neuropeptides, and they go to the liver, and then that go to the body through the toilet. So Imgality blocks activation of CGRP, and is a new drug for migraine prevention. And none of the other older preventive drugs of migraine that we've had enter in the migraine process like this. All right, so does Imgality work for migraine? Yes, the FDA released Imgality for use in the United States in September 2018. It has had a grand success for migraine patients. And it's delivered and given as a subcutaneous needle either in the top of the thigh or near the umbilicus in the stomach. So, dosing. The first dose is two of the 120 milligram injections followed by one 120 milligram injection once a month for migraine. So are there any special precautions for using Mingality? Mingality should be stored in a refrigerator in its original carton to protect from light, and the Mingality needles should be left at room temperature 30 minutes before injection, and then the thigh or abdomen should be cleaned with an alcohol sponge before injection. What about interreaction of Imgality with other drugs? Well, most modern drugs are made from dirt or plants in the world and then are processed by drug companies and used to treat a specific illness. For instance, penicillin is a mold that accidentally dropped on an auger plate, and Fleming had put that on his window ledge and it was found to kill bacteria and later manufactured and sold to treat bacterial illnesses. Penicillin has 10 different drug contraindications. This means that penicillin should not be used with those listed drugs. However, Imgality can be used with any drug and it has no drug contraindications. Because Imgality is made by DNA polymerization and then injected in the body. And uh, DNA polymerization is a lab, a lab process of spinning out strands of DNA, which is a completely novel method of drug production and safe regarding use of other existing drugs. So what are the side effects in taking Imgality? Serious side effects are hypersensitivity reaction, which is very rare, and common side effects are injection site reaction and muscle cramps or spasms. The uh, injection site reaction is like a little bruise you get when you have blood drawn for your doctor. Safety information. Also, Imgality can cause allergic reaction like itching, rash, or hives, and trouble breathing. And allergic reactions can happen days after using the drug. So, our users are instructed to go see their healthcare provider or emergency medical help if they have any of the following symptoms, which may be part of an allergic reaction swelling of the face, mouth, tongue, or throat, or trouble breathing. Serious side effects are very rare, and the common side effects are not bad. What are the benefits from using Mingality? Well, in two six-month studies of adults who had four to 14 migraine days per month, Mingality cut migraine days in half 
for about 60% of patients versus about 39% for placebo. In a three-month study of adults with over 15 headache days per month, 28% of them had their monthly migraine days cut in half or more with emgality compared to 15% who took placebo. A migraine-free month is possible using this drug, and that happened in 12% on average in one study and 16% of, of, of another study. So the drug works really well. Emgality was specifically developed for migraine. Historically, many migraine preventive drugs were designed for other conditions, but Emgality was specifically developed to bind to CGRP, a substance in the brain that plays a key role in migraine and blocks its binding to a receptor. Alan Rappaport, MD, a clinical professor of neurology at UCLA's David Geffen Medical School, who is a leader in headache research and treatment, stated, the most exciting thing about these drugs is not the FDA-required endpoints. The value of the CGRP drugs class is its potential to significantly reduce migraines for a reasonable number of patients. He says about 30% of patients may see 75% reduction, and between 15 and 20% may see 100% reduction. And these are astounding results for migraine therapy, much better than any of the results of previously used migraine drugs. So what are the results of previous migraine drugs for prevention? The standard drugs used there were amitriptyline, topiramate, valproacid, and the beta blockers, propranolol, and atenolol. So all of these drugs work indirectly on the migraine process, while Imgality works directly in the process. These older preventive drugs could reduce migraines about 30% in a month, but had a lot of side effects that resulted in poor compliance so that many patients just quit taking them. The other situation was um, migraine, especially migraine with aura, has an increased risk of cardiovascular and cerebrovascular risk. The main therapy drugs, the tryptins, are contraindicated with cardiovascular and cerebrovascular disease. So um, the CGRP drugs are great for migraine because they have no side effects with cardiovascular disease. Currently, the FDA says that emgality can be used in patients with cerebrovascular disease risk. What about the use of the new, uh, this new drug for pregnancy or lactation? Well, there's no current indication for the use of CGRP antibody drugs during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. The FDA statement regarding these types of drugs is pregnancy caution is advised during pregnancy. There's no human data available, known risk no known risk of fetal harm based on animal data at 20 times recommended the human dose, however. For lactation, caution is advised for breastfeeding. No human data is available to assess risk of infant harm or effects on milk production. So that's the end of my comments today on uh, imgality for preventing a migraine. It's a great new drug. Uh, follow me on my website at www.drmigraine.com and I have an article on this there with pictures. And also, um, God bless all you patients with migraine. Subscribe if you'll click that. We can follow each other. I'll see you again on another talk.